And now it's time for more of Southern California's sports fishing voice. Let's talk hookup. This portion of the show is sponsored in part by Ford, the official truck of Let's Talk Hookup. Shimano Rods and Reels, fish with the best, Shimano. And by Yamaha Outboards, official motor sponsor of Let's Talk Hookup. Here we go. Another great hour of Southern California's sports fishing voice. Let's Talk Hookup. Here's Pete Gray, Rock Cod, Rick Maxa, and Corey Sandin. Hey, welcome back. Hour number two, Let's Talk Hookup, right here on the Let's Talk Hookup app and the mightier 1090 ESPN Radio. Pete Gray here with Rock Cod, Rick Maxa, and the world headquarters of Let's Talk Hookup here, right next on a beautiful day here in Southern California, next to the San Diego Landings in Point Lomi. Valerie Hope Rich from Queen Charlotte Safaris is here, and we have Captain Rob from Queen Charlotte Safaris uh, talking fishing, and what a great day. A lot of phone calls, a lot of texts, and uh, what a prize we're giving away. Man, you're not kidding. If you didn't catch the beginning of the show so much great information obviously about queen charlotte safaris but yeah pete you killed it uh, another great prize at the end of today's show <clears throat> somebody's going to get to go fishing on an overnight open party trip at a fisherman's landing we've given this prize away a couple times before you basically get a certificate that's good for any open party trip uh on an overnight that runs at a fisherman's landing and, uh, yeah, whatever boat happens to be running overnight, uh, when you book your trip, you got it. Uh, you can pick, you can pick from it. Doesn't matter. Open party, overnight, fisherman's landing coming your way. Again, give us a call this morning at 213-432-1090. A line open there? Yep, one line, 213-432-1090. Or send us a text on that Let's Talk Hookup app. And again, make sure you include your contact info when you text through so we can get back to you if you win that big prize. Lots of great texts already coming through. Oh, there. yeah, and lots of good calls, too. And I want to remind you, be sure to pick up this week's edition of Western Outdoor News. Uh, caught my attention because a guy with a beautiful local native trout on the front. Uh, nice. Trout season right around the corner. And lots of good information, bluefin information, and of course, big bass happening spring. Yeah, it's big time bass of year. time. So check it out this week's edition of Western Outdoor News. Hey, we had lots of great info coming up today. Lots of your phone calls again. And if you want to get through, it's two one three four three two ten ninety. Yeah, for sure. And Rob, you, you uh, alluded to the salmon report and, yeah. and, and, yes. and such. Why don't Let's you fill us salmon. in? What's the dirt? Yeah, so we've been seeing some really impressive numbers in the uh, early season of the fish count. Um, So especially for our early season fishing, like June, uh, early July, but definitely in June, we see the South Coast fish, uh, the fish that are heading, you know, quite far south, uh, runs in the numbers of 10 times average runs, quadruple times average runs. So uh, I got my fingers crossed and my toes crossed that this is going to be one epic season, especially the early season. Wow, and the early season would be what June? Yeah, June. June would be would be. Uh, I think we're gonna see a a wave of fish come through that you're just gonna be. Wow, <laughs> this is what it yes. used to be like, eh? Okay. <laughs> and you actually have openings in June. Mm-hmm. And you said yeah, June's the best weather that. month too, right? Driest. It is. The it's one of the best for sure. Yep. Lots of sunshine. <laughs> yeah. Lots of light. That's a. That's awesome. That's Lots yeah. Of long days. Long days. Yeah. Yes. It's beautiful. For sure. Uh, um, so when would be the openings? What are the opportunities to come up to um, Queen Charlotte Safaris? Well, I pretty much have my calendar in my head. Of course you do. <laughs> Time, no yeah. surprise. Um, mm. We're going to open May thirty first, and I, we have some openings like the first two weeks of the month uh-huh. and then we have a little bit at the very end that go like June 28 to July 2. I have some op- openings there and I have some openings for singles and it's a mixture. We've got couples. we got all kinds of stuff yeah. and I also have uh, gentlemen out there, if you want to come out fishing and your wife would like to do a tour, I have some dates where I have some ladies touring. Okay. Oh, okay. Yeah. So if the if if the lady does not want to fish, she and, but there's and there's plenty to see. Yes. The museums and the uh, the, yep. the the whole yes. Haida Gwaii culture there's and a little art. Um, there's a little artisan shop, uh, Crystal Cabin. Go up north to North Beach, up there. Uh, there's just beautiful yeah, lakes. There's a lot of stuff. You know, I, I, it's hard to believe, but I was talking to somebody when I was there last year that they're actually people that go and do eco tours up there. It's a huge business up there. I can't imagine going up and not fishing. But, you know, there's a, <laughs> there are people, believe it or not, there are people that don't fish, yep. and there's plenty to do, right, Rob? 
there's hot springs out there. There's, yeah. um, you know, totem poles that are still standing from early 1800s that yes. you can go and visit. Yeah, that's a neat tour. I've I'll done bet. that tour. That's it's cool. It's pretty surreal. It's, I'll bet it is. It is. You're yeah. in the mm, you're, you're you're surrounded by a village that was the largest village on the on the west coast in the 1800s, and uh, yeah. you definitely feel a presence when you're there, a power. Yes. Yes, I love that. That's yeah, cool. and that to- that museum right across the, uh, the 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 cut there, you, you take a ferry over from Queen Charlotte is is truly one of the most amazing mu- museums. I'm not a museum guy. I'll I'll be right up front, right? I'm, most museums kind of bore me real fast. I was like, oh yeah, that's cool. But this one was it's really gotcha. amazing that's because cool. of all the culture and the, yeah. the uniqueness and stuff. Uh, and fishing too. I mean, they yeah. have you know like a, there's a part that shows how they harvest like. Their salmon and roe and everything for yeah, their cool. elders and yeah. the Haida is just they just have what a culture uh, just love it yeah, that's right. yeah. no it's it's really love cool it. we we have a uh, we have one Haida we actually we have two Haida guides that are going to be fishing with us this season yeah uh, one Royce and then Kuiwa Kuiwa is a very talented woman hashtag author hashtag museum curator hashtag super fisher woman artist um, wow. and artist so yeah if you want to roll into that Valerie our new, uh, our yeah, new logo our new that logo. Uh, Kuiwa designed you for have our, you have oh, the shirt with our yeah. new logo uh-huh. yeah, yeah. Kuiwa Qu- did that We're, we'll get her on the we'll get, we need to get her and Royce on because they can talk about what it was like to grow up on the islands yeah, and how fishing cool. with their family and their dads and yes yeah giving yeah, us all wow. the secret spots yeah, <laughs> yeah they're little our friend Gary Furness, the doc, yeah. um, fished with Kiwa Kui 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 or Kui. Kui. She goes back yeah. Kui. Kui, and Kui and she was he was just raving Robsville. about her. Yeah, yeah on Rob's yeah. 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 She's she's stunning. Yeah. Yeah. That, that's cool. It's part of the part of the fun. Yeah, you got a rad yeah. family there. Yeah. That's yeah. awesome. All right. Rick, you have a great text. I, I thought so. This is uh, good morning, ladies and gentlemen. What a fun show. Um Valerie, my question is what kind of boats do you guys run at Queen Charlotte Safaris? Um and then he also had a question about what the food situation like, which we had a, a, a moment to touch on. So uh but that's all from Rory in Lakeside. Hi, Rory. So I'm going to say a little bit about the boats, and then I'm going to let Captain Rob jump in because he he is the driver, <laughs> right, <laughs> Captain Rob? But we we have a, we use a jet boat, and the reason why we use jets is to get between those two big islands. You know, just like Hawaii, well, north we're kind of like Hawaii, and so we have two big islands, and we're going between the two. The West Coast is where it's all at. It really is. And we've got the Continental Shelf going along there, a lot of pinnacles, and just there's just so much fish coming through, uh, transitory fish. Um, so we have three Thunder Jets. They're 25 foot, covered, heated. 26 foot. Oh. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> and then we have th- uh, Three brand new precision welds built in Anacortes, Washington, just right across the border, and uh, and that's what we that's the fleet we're headed towards. It just yeah. takes a little time. Just now, now Rob, yeah. why the jets? Why not just a regular outboard powered boat? Well, the uh, East Narrows actually has a negative tide, so yes. for us to stay on schedule to be out there uh, at the time you want to be out there every day, we are capable of running the Narrows in, uh, I would say, safely 18 inches of water, so oh. we can get out there where, you know, a drive boat or an outboard boat, you're looking at a two- or three-hour wait, maybe four oh, hours wait, some. depending. Yeah, sure. Yeah, and, uh, yeah, the the, the 26-foot offshore model, Thunder Jet is a uh, 2012 model exactly with a two of them have 454 Kodiaks on a HJ 241 jet um, capable of 30 plus knots yeah. and cruising at around 27 knots and then the um, 29 and a half foot precision wells are running 440 horsepower Yamar 5.9 liter diesels on the XB 27 jet and uh, very very fuel efficient you'd be surprised to see the numbers that we put up um, we're kind of putting up numbers that you don't even see with a brand new outboard. So no it's kind of cool to cool. have such amount of power and nimble, nimble capabilities of the boats and then, uh, you know, still being fuel efficient. So fast. Was, yeah. was there much of a Quite learning fun. curve for you, Rob, uh, when it, it is. switching it from is. an outboard boat to a jet? 
Yeah, it is. It's a it's a whole different ball game. But uh, once you get it, it's kind of like at first you're like, oh god, I hate this. <laughs> but then once you get a handle on it, you're like, wow, this thing is more capable than you could ever cool. imagine. It's like you're driving you know, you a race can car. Sneak right into a little, yeah, you can sneak right into a little hole and then back right out. And yeah, once you get a handle on uh, how to maneuver a jet boat, it's like, wow, this is a pretty cool little machine. Yeah. That's awesome. And yeah. Hamilton Jet is like the is the world's best jet i mean they do stuff all over the world yeah. mm-hmm. our new boats have a our new boats have a transmission in them actually which is mm-hmm. kind of something rare and uh it gives us the capability to not to be able to put the boat into reverse and flush the drive out too which is a great little option because uh, every once in a while like even with that outboard you'll pick up a bag or something right and you have to stop or pick up some you know tough seaweed but uh with this you just push the button flush her out and boom we get back going again wow right back to yeah. the wall. wow that's cool no they're mm. they're great boats and, and they get in like you say to places that you can't get in with a prop boat for sure nope yeah some of that going through the narrows it's so is pretty. a thrill ride oh, because really? i yeah. probably just because do back you'll go <laughs> yeah because <laughs> like, like for example, it depends on the tides, of course. In the morning, you think, oh, this is like a wide river, right? I mean, it's a, like a rushing river. Mm-hmm. And then you come in the afternoon, and it's like this it's little stream. tiny stream, <laughs> right? That you're, We're going to go mm-hmm. through that? And it's like, whoop, right through it. That's it's cool. pretty, pretty cool. No, it's, it's, yeah. it's a, and we actually have eight inches of draft, but I prefer the guides go have a foot. Have a foot. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, for sure. And the good news is about that is... Nobody else is going to be out there but the jet boats. Cause the yeah, we get out there and sometimes, you know, we're out there by 7-ish and uh, you nobody know, else shows up till 11 and by the time they show up, we're done. <laughs> yeah, yeah, uh, it's, yeah. It's it. yeah. Well, hey, uh, phones are packed. Then let's jump into it. Yeah, it sounds great to me. How about this time we talk to Tom and Tom's calling us from Temecula this morning. Tom, good morning. Thanks for hanging in there with us. Morning, guys. Morning, Valerie. Good Can't morning. Can't wait to get up there in August uh, with my wife. Uh, my question is uh, about your captains. Can you tell us, uh, do you have, have the same captains every year, and where do they come from? Uh, good question. Yeah. So far as captains, I do like to have everybody stay with the same captain for their whole trip. Like, So there are three days of fishing, and there are full days of fishing. Um, I don't like to move people around because you yeah. get comfortable and you, you – you build that first day, you know, you're getting to know each other, and then you build that camaraderie, and then you have, you just, you get very comfortable, and you work as a team. So, um, I do like to keep everybody with the same captain as possible, and my captain, so we have, um, they're all from BC. Everybody's from BC. Um, some. Local. Where do you live, Rob? He's in I live on, in yeah. Powell River, just a little bit north of Vancouver, and uh, it's on the west coast as well. Just been yeah, fishing here my whole life. Yeah, you've been fishing there your whole life. Yeah, and that's the life. way most most of the guys. And yes. Nathan is is li- lives in, in Sandspit, in Sandspit and right Quee there. Lives in. Uh, she's over in Skidigit, and Royce is over in. Is is he in Skidigit or? Duncan geese. I can't remember which one, but anyway. But they're all. You're all local guys. They're local, yeah. and um, yeah, actually, we have all local. Canadians. Captain Ed is from um, Port Alberni, Vancouver Island. So they're all. Yeah, they're all BCs. Yeah, that's so cool. <laughs> all BCs. That's cool. Yep. Hey Tom, thanks a lot for the call. Thank this you, morning. Tom. Appreciate I'll see you in it. August. All right. Hey, with that said, we're going to find out what's going on on the water. It's time for our fishdope.com tip by the man, Captain Dave Hansen, your saltwater god. I want to remind you, this catch report today is sponsored by the Fish Pros at Fisherman's Processing in San Diego, where you can get the premier processing experience. Check out the new and easier online system to book your processing orders for your long-range trips. And now with the addition of new team members, Fisherman's Processing stays far ahead of the rest. More same-day capacity and the finest customer service. Stop by their location in Old Town on Taylor Street or check Fisherman'sProcessing.com. Be sure you make those reservations today. And we've got them. Your saltwater guide is standing by. Good morning, Captain Dave. Hey, good morning, Valerie, Rob, Pete, Rick. Thanks for having me on the show today. Good morning. Hey, guys. Unfortunately, we got four days left tonight till Wednesday night of lobster fishing, and it has just been a fantastic season. I'm sad that it's coming to an end because a lot of people did very, very well. Long Beach, L.A. was historic how good it was. I know you guys saw the pictures and the videos over and over again. It was pretty spectacular, so we're sad that's coming to an end, but get out there, gang. You got three more days 
to get out there, and it all ends on Wednesday night at midnight. And then uh, we should have a lot of coverage out there this weekend. Boats all over the place. I had a couple of members go down to the Coronados yesterday. They didn't see any uh, didn't see any yellows, but they had really good calico bass fishing, really good rockfish fishing, lean cod, all that stuff down there. They said the water looked really good at the Coronado, so it's probably just any day now. Just some consistent weather. Catalina, we had a couple light boats go over there and look around for the weekend to see if they could catch any squid to sell, and uh, unfortunately they found nothing, and then they headed over to Clemente, so we'll get a report later today and see what they've done, and I'll let Danny at Fish Dope know. What my guys found over there, as far as on the coast, like Mark was saying, bottom grabbers, whitefish, sheephead, really good sheephead fishing up and down the coast right now. We're all just waiting for April 1st for that rockfish season to start because, Ricky, as you know, as soon as all the boats head out to San Nick and the Cortez and the Tanner and all those places, you know they're going to find that bluefin. It, it didn't go anywhere. It's out there. It's just no one's been there to look around. So. Hopefully you guys got all your tackle ready. You got everything you needed at the PCS show. And if you didn't, swing in and see Rick over there at Fisherman's Landing Tackle because you got to get ready. It's about to explode. No, no doubt about it. Well, a great report, Dave. Like I say, good, good call getting in that last minute on the lobsters. And, yep, no doubt about it. There was some great bluefin hits from the guys uh, over the weekend, and that's just going to continue to get it better. And like Pete said, we've got a really nice week of weather in front of us. I think it can be some great fishing. Dave, great job as always. Appreciate it very much, and we'll look forward to talking to you next week. Thanks for letting me be on the show, guys. I'm going to kick back and listen to Valerie and Rob. I, I want to get up there. It sounds spectacular. Right. Have a great well, show, guys. That it is. And uh, don't forget, fish dope.com is your source like Dave says information from all the right sources on fishdope.com 30 bucks off a new membership to fishdope.com using the code hookup now lowercase no space hookup now is your $30 code for fishdope.com and Rick you have a good text huh uh, I thought so yeah definitely it uh, bring it back up here um, it says good morning guys uh, maybe a question for Rob Rob how effective is jigging techniques with light tackle for the big Bigger halibut and lingcod at Queen Charlotte cool. Safaris. Also, can I use a diver for king salmon versus a downrigger? Can't wait. I uh, hope you guys have an awesome season. I can't wait to check it out. Uh, that's from Ted in San Diego. Yeah, so diver, uh, less effective than the downrigger, obviously. I mean, if you want to put another rod up the middle, sure, we can do that with a diver. But uh, it's almost more fun to have that third rod at the back just on the surface because then you see that surface smack and you know the, when the fish hits it, and it's just super exciting. Um, as for jig. Uh, we prefer a 12 ounce jig um, and everybody to have the same jig on so that when we do drop down we're all dropping down at the same we're all going to get that same hook up like, there's times when we drop all four rods and immediately all four rods are hooked up oh, yeah. so, uh, so cool. the quicker you can get that bait down there is kind of like I don't know I'm in, I'm in the the mindset of line in the water, line on the bottom, fish on the hook. So yeah. faster you get down there, better. Um, I like a knife jig personally. Uh, we have these jigs that we buy from a gentleman in Port Alberni, and they seem to just be fire. Um, you stick one of those, uh, one of Corey's MC swim baits on there, and it's even incendiero. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's. Uh, I mean, the, the 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 jig fishing there is. Like nothing you'll ever experience anywhere else. And, yeah. and the thing is, is, when you get a bite, it's a big one usually. Yeah. Especially those lingcod are giant up there. Yeah, no, man, they're rod benders. It's, it's great. I mean, you can ask Corey. He knows. It's, uh, oh, yeah. he, he's got this technique where he drops it down and then pulls it up five and then just gives it a little second and then, wow, well, bam. Yeah, it's, uh, yeah, so it's fun. Yeah, he was telling me about that. It was funny because, you know, you kind of jig it on the bottom. And, and then mm-hmm. that evening I was talking to Corey. He's like, no, pull it up and then let it sit there. And they'll follow it up and then just nail it. Right, Rob? Just plant. Yeah, it was it was entertaining to watch him fish. I, nobody really ever does that, and uh, I was like, "Well, that's a cool little new way, new little trick. If it's not working, yeah. just dropping them on the bottom. We're going to try that for sure." That's so cool. Hey, I have another great text here from John in Huntington Beach. He says, "Hey, Valerie and Captain, I'm going up with Let's Talk Hookup Trip August 7th through 11th. I'm excited for all the wonderful fishing opportunities. Can we fish Albacore if they're close in, not too far offshore? If the weather's good, I'll gladly pay for extra gas." <laughs> <laughs> so, Oh. This, this is something that we've talked about. It, yeah, it is a little early. It's we, a little there's early. something that we have talked about. So, 
I mean, if uh, if there is enough interest in it, I mean, I don't know, this will be a Valerie thing as well to get it going. Obviously, there will be a little bit of a fuel surcharge, but uh, we can definitely hunt for albacore like late August, September. Yes. Um, they do show up. There's an albacore tournament up there, which is pretty cool. It's a big money tournament um, that goes on in the middle of uh, September, I believe. But um, it's definitely something to start considering because the albacore fishing up there is unreal. And I think the limit right now is 16 per person a day. Jeez. So you can really uh, take home haul fish if you if you get into them. Yeah. Valerie, you're rolling your eyes. <laughs> no, I'm not. Oh, no. <laughs> going, oh, no. Here we go. <laughs> 16 albacore per person. Oh, no. We're going to get more boxes. We need more boxes. <laughs> we need more planes. <laughs> oh, that's funny. That is. We, we've been talking talking about doing it uh we just need to put it together yeah that'd be fun yeah Yeah, that'd be fun hey well we got a special guest on the line from the pacific dawn captain mike laus mike good morning hey good morning how you guys doing well we're doing great but probably not as good as you are you are you guys uh had uh, your first official we're only going fishing for bluefin tuna day and a half trip at a fisherman's landing on friday night and uh man we we uh we saw a little bit of pictures from social media but tell us how it went it looks like you guys had a great trip yeah, it was great. It was great. Everything uh, everything worked out nicely. It was nice just to make it an offshore trip, a little less stress to try to go inside, catch rockfish, and then run outside to catch a bluefin. We could just focus on offshore fishing, and it paid off. It paid off. Which was not the easiest call to make because it's sure easy to have, you know, rockfish in the sacks as a backup. But, uh, yeah, your your plan was to strictly go offshore looking for tuna. And uh, I understand you guys had some success. Tell us how it went. Yeah, it was great. Uh, about 4 o'clock in the morning or know, 3.30-ish, we uh, bumped into a school. And right away, right away we started getting bites. And that was that was uh they kept swimming through wave after wave for 12 people i think we got 11 that morning so pretty much everybody got one <clears throat> they were <clears throat> excuse me 10 of those were over 100 pounds no kidding. Between 100 yeah between 100 to 130 ish so they're all cookie cutters cookie cutter size at 100 and there was one standout 130 <laughs> well, but, uh, awesome! What a way to start things off for the season, and and uh, was it all a nighttime thing? No, it was not. So that that that's the that that was the cool part. During the day, there was breezer fishing; you could see it, visual sonar. Uh, if you could get on a spot of like forty pounders, forty to fifty pounders, they they ate the fly line pretty good, and uh, that's that's that was a nice mixture for everybody. Well, that's awesome to hear. Well, what a, what a great start uh, to the season. What was the what was the grade of the fish in the daytime, the fly line fish? The bigger fish did not want to cooperate completely, and uh, most of the guys were fishing forty pound tests, so you could understand the outcome of that. <laughs> yeah, uh, that doesn't work with a hundred pounder, right? No, not it. Sometimes, sometimes, sometimes. <laughs> but well, Mike, uh, what a great trip and way to get things started. Now, what uh, what's the future hold for the Pacific Dawn? Are you guys going to continue to run open party? Is it charter fishing? And when's the next opportunity to jump on and go get some bluefin with you? Well, we would love it to be just straight charters, but this time of the year, <clears throat> you know, kind of breaking off from the Ventura thing and keeping the boat in San Diego, we still need to let everybody see us and know that we're down here. We're we're down here to try to. You know, to try to try to try to do everything here from for uh, you know year round, but uh, we're an open party uh, every week. Every week, I believe we have two trips up. We have two trips up. Uh, we have one that was supposed to go tonight. I don't know if we get enough people, but Friday night, if we can any one of these trips, if we can get five or six people, we'll make it a definite run. Man, that's so, awesome! So it's a good call chance to go out, landing, and, right? Yeah, call Fisherman's Landing. Talk to Carl, any one of the guys, and uh, re- reserve a spot. Reserve well, that's a spot. Off, hats off you. to you, Mike, for uh, making the decision to go, and especially running with so few people. I, I know that can't be easy on the pocketbook, but it gets the season started, and it gets all of us fired up, and obviously it was certainly well worth it for the guys that joined you. What a, what a great trip. Having what an experience. Everybody having fish over 100 pounds in March. We'll, we'll, we'll take that as our start to offshore fishing. Well, great job. Yeah, and it's only St. Patrick's Day yeah, in exactly. May, I'm March, right? How about that? Here we go. All right, that's right. 
Yeah, yeah my crew's mad at me that, that we're uh, getting a little late. Yeah, you and <laughs> you and Carl are going to be here in the World Headquarters on uh, Easter Sunday, uh, March 31st, right? Yep. Yeah, we'll be there. That's look, awesome, look Mike. forward to you having having you on the show along with Carl. That's going to be fun. And thanks for joining us uh, again. Fish, fisherman'slanding.com book online. Pacific Dawn. Pacific Dawn is the boat, and just call and uh, book the trip. Yeah, come fishing. Good job, Mike. Thanks a lot, guys. You guys have a great day. All right. Thanks Thank you. Bye. Appreciate it very much. Hey, phones are packed. Let's jump back into it. You Rick. got it. How about this time we talk to Daniel, kind of from Rancho Cucamonga. Hey, Daniel, welcome to Let's Talk Hook Up. Uh, good morning, guys. What's up, Daniel? Uh, this is a question for Valerie. Um, how do you guys take care of the fish if, it's, if we fish multiple days, and how much fish can I bring back home? Well, that's a loaded question. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, as far as the fish, it goes, we have a certified processor right on the island. And so when you come in, they take your fish, it gets processed that night, it's cut that night, flash frozen, everything all ready to go, uh, vacuum packed, and then on farewell day, they put everything into a, a, a insulated fish box. And then far or as two or three. Or two or three, or however many <laughs> have. That's why I said it was a loaded question. <laughs> yeah. Um, so, and it just, uh, I'm sorry, the other part you wanted to know what species or? Just how, how much you're allowed to bring home. Oh, Air Canada does not care how much fish you bring home. It's just how big your wallet is. Uh, yep. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, your first box, of course, we include into your package. 50 as long pounds. As you bring, yeah, 50 pound 50 box. 50 pound box. Uh, as long as you bring a carry-on and then the second box is fifty dollars and once you get past two boxes it's a hundred dollars and depending on what airport per. you're going yeah, yeah per box depending on which airport you're going in and out of if we can get it all the way you know transferred all the way home and here's one other thing is you clear customs in Vancouver. It's so, so cool. It's so, so easy. easy. Uh, you're done. You get to L.A., you get to San Diego or Orange County, wherever you're flying from, you just you, get your fish a, and go home. It's a domestic flight. It's done. Yeah. It's all yeah. done. It's, it's, it's pretty easy. Yes. Uh, Follow-up on that um, is from uh, Kevin, and he says, Hi, uh, Valerie and Kevin. It's Kevin from San Clemente uh, asking what not to bring with me as I want to bring back as much Queen Charlotte salmon oh. and halibut as possible. <laughs> that's, a good, that's a good call. So, yeah. Love it. Yeah. So, Rob, fishing with you, what do you need? Nothing. I got you. Nothing. I got everything for you. <laughs> Nothing. Um, I would. I would bring yourself just like like Valerie said. Some layers. layers. Um, you know, uh, if you want to, if you want to have some, uh, you know, some wicking fabrics underneath. That's those are the best. That's what I wear. Um, and then, if you want a pair of gloves, gloves might be a good thing if you if you uh, get cold hands because sometimes the wind and rain is is there. So, uh, but usually, man, last year we had such great weather. You know, I never had gloves on once, other than to uh, cut fish sometimes. And then, uh, yeah, I usually wear myself a pair of bibs, which we all we free supply. Um, sometimes the long johns underneath, and then a wicking fabric on top, and then sometimes a hoodie, and then sometimes my raincoat. That's all I wear. A pair of sunglasses. Good hat, sunscreen. Yeah, the welcome packet tells you everything you should yes. bring. And if and if something gets dirty or wet, you want it washed, you can do that too. Yes. Yeah, because Sam's got your back on that one. Yes. <laughs> she'll, she'll hook you up with a, with a fresh little laundry anytime you want. Yes. Yeah, for sure. It's a, it's a nice day. You don't you don't you can do the, do it totally in a carry on and then not yes. worry about Easily. it. Yep. Yeah, for sure. But make mm-hmm. sure your carry on meets the airline requirements, which is in the welcome That's packet as well. Call. Yes. Yeah, because the the flight you take from Vancouver to Sandspit is not a regular size. It's at one of those M bar 80. It's a Q400. Q400. Yeah. yeah. And, you know, the overhead bin is not as big as the big plane you probably sure. fly in to Vancouver on. Yeah. Yeah. All right. So you gotta be they are we have the dimensions, aircraft, yeah. though. Yeah, have you've got it all down. Packing. All right. That's cool. Hey, when we come back, we got a lot more Let's Talk Hookup coming your way. we got more of your phone calls, more great info, more catch reports. You stay tuned. It's Let's Talk Hookup on the Mightier 1090 ESPN Radio. Inside information is everything when it comes to catching fish in Southern California. You need a code group to connect with what's happening on the water. Fishdope.com is your code group. Inside information available at your fingertips seven days a week, 
24 hours a day. Fishdope.com really does help you catch more fish and burn less fuel. Fishdope.com is the only fish finding service with a spotter plane, along with a crew of top anglers on the water almost every day that report actual locations and catches. They become your code group. You get daily catch reports from Point Conception to San Catine, 365 days a year. Fishdope.com has online planning tools, temperature and chlorophyll charts, hot bite icons, and more. Take it from me if you don't have fishdope.com, you're not part of the in the know crowd. Membership is affordable and good for an entire year. Plus, use the special code and save $30 on a new fishdope.com membership. Check it out today. Fishdope.com. Catch more fish, burn less fuel. Hey, it's time to talk about where it's always biting, and that is Point Loma Seafoods right next to the San Diego landings in Point Loma. I was in there a couple times this week, and oh my gosh, fresh. Baja Grouper, Pacific oh, Grouper, yeah, unbelievable. Paqueta? Yeah, no, not no, Paqueta. Not Paqueta, okay. Next step up from Paqueta. Wait, like 10 steps up hey, from Paqueta. all right. No, the Pacific Grouper, you know, the big big green Grouper. Awesome. Oh, my gosh. And the other thing, too, that you got to notice at Point Loma Seafoods is their scallops are giant. Oh, dude, hockey pucks. They, yes, they're giant, and they're dry scallops, which is important. You can go to other places and you see them there. You know, these are like the real deal scallops. Yeah. They're, but everything they have, the, the shrimp, the everything in that fish case, that's why they call it the fish freshest th- thing in town. Well, we obviously working at the tackle store, we eat there multiple days a week and it's just, when we rely on it, it's so good. It's never not top quality, you know, from the old school squid sandwich and fish sandwich to, you know, to the best fish tacos in town. I mean, I wouldn't say that it's a secret anymore, but it's it's just so good. <clears throat> Everything they have is fresh. Everything they have is made in-house. It's just the best. You bet. Point Loma Seafoods right next to the San Diego Landings in Point Loma. I can't wait to spend some quality time with my son fishing this year, teaching him about casting, how to choose bait, set the hook, and how to be safe on the water by always wearing a life jacket. Save the ones you love. A message from California State Parks Division of Boating and Waterways. Countdown to spring with exhilarating deals on new Yamaha outboards during Yamaha's Power and Performance Sales Event from now until March 31st, 2024. Purchase a new eligible Yamaha 450 to 30 horsepower outboard and get up to seven years of warranty protection and a Siren 3 Pro package to your purchase of a 115 horsepower and up and receive a bonus $1,000 in dealer credit and half off your Siren subscription. Looking for lower horsepower? Yamaha got you covered. Purchase a new Yamaha 25 to 2.5 horsepower outboard and receive up to $2,000 in dealer credit. Reliability starts here. Offer ends March 31st, 2024. Subject to change. Other restrictions and conditions apply. Select models excluded. 24-month Yamaha extended service added a 36 or 60-month factory limited warranty. Choice offered to Florida residents is a 24-month Yamaha limited warranty. See authorized participating Yamaha outboard dealers for details. Cannot be used with any other Yamaha offer. I have a whole bunch of them. Welcome back to Let's Talk Hookup. Having a great time here this morning. Hey, we got a little bonus to the show this morning. We got Captain Mike Pritchard of the Tribute on the line right now. Good morning, Mike. Hey, good morning, guys. How's it going? <clears throat> it's going great. We always love it when we can hear the boat going on in the background. And, uh, man, just uh, anxious to hear. How did uh, how did things fare for you guys this weekend on the Tribute? You know, when I called in yesterday morning, we had a, a really good shot at bigger fish. Uh, in the dark from 3 o'clock to uh, about 6 o'clock, I think our big fish. We we called it a 160, but I, I think after watching the fish be weighed this morning uh, by five star, that was pretty conservative. Um, we we had nine nine of those big ones, and then uh, got rolling. Took a little bit to find our next school, but our, our next school we picked up 19 more bluefin, uh, 25 to 60 pounders, and they we only had 18 guys on the boat. I mean, at one point everybody on the boat had one. Very, very good fish, and uh, I mean, I know it's March, but you would have thought it was, you know, August, September, anything else. Gee. Flat, calm weather, biting fish. We got some really good videos um, that I put up on our social media. Uh, we ended up getting on another spot in the afternoon of oh, 30 to 100 pound fish, and there, I mean, there was no shortage of fish throughout the day watching. You know, some of the bigger schools, uh, the 150 pounders, watching them blow up, do cartwheels, and they were a little more reluctant to bite, which I was fine with. Um, <laughs> 30 to 100 pound fish was great. You know, we uh, we ended up getting limits for our, our, our passengers as well as our crew. So I mean, it was uh, all the way all the way to the end. We uh, we fished till dark, uh, just trying to pick through some bigger fish, and it was. Uh, 
we had a lot of guys get off the boat here this morning. It was the best uh, best trip they've ever been on. And, you know, for our first offshore trip, um, limits of bluefin, flat calm weather, just a great group of guys. Like, you know, that, that's uh, Check not the, the worst day. start ever. Yeah, right? That's what I'm saying. Yeah. Pink Patrick's Day, March 17th. <laughs> limits of bluefin. Yeah. How about that, huh? Hey, is, is today St. Patrick's Day? Yes. Yes, it is. In fact. All right. Well. In fact, Valerie's on, I'll, got I'll, a little I'll, uh, I'll for make you. That work. Just for you, Mike. <laughs> Valerie's got a little uh, Irish ditty. Uh, Irish F- ditty. F- All right. <laughs> <You> ready? <laughs> yes. May the holes in your net not be no larger than the fish in it. That is an Irish fishing <laughs> yeah, quote. There you go. <laughs> I like it. All right. that, that's it. That's like uh, saying Irish wristwatch. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that doesn't work for some. That, that, that's a good ditty, though, and, and very true. Yes. Well, way to go, Mike. What a what an awesome uh, awesome job and unbelievable that the start to this season. I just think it bodes well for everything coming. And what's uh, what's coming up next for the tribute? So our next trip was not scheduled till next Friday night, which is already a go. Uh, we put our trip up yesterday morning. Uh, it's already a go. We got we got a dozen people for tomorrow night. Awesome. Uh, it, it's too good to pass up. I mean, I was just blown away. You know, I really uh, we started our morning with nine fish. They're all big ones, but I was happy with that, and we ended sure. up with you know all, all we wanted and then some. Like we it, it, we we stopped fishing at dark. I mean, you really need to check out some of the videos on uh, Instagram and and uh, Facebook. It's just what we got to deal with that. Quality of fish, the weather, and everything else, and the weather uh, Tuesday looks just as nice. I mean, it's uh, it's going to be a good one. Yeah, this is no longer a fun. Well, it'd be it'd be fun to catch one early in the season. This is flat out really good fishing. Legitimate, yeah. So it, leaves tomorrow it, night, it was ridiculous. <laughs> le- leaves tomorrow night. Flat calm weather predicted. Uh, great fishing. How do we get aboard, Mike? Uh, Seaforth Landing six one nine two two four three three eight three seaforthlanding dot com tributesportfishing.com and our social media is tribute sport fishing uh, whether it be facebook or instagram and i mean you, you said we've had some of the comments i don't know several several thousand views on some of the videos of man i didn't know this was a possibility this time of year <laughs> it's because it's not, but it is. It is. Yeah, <laughs> that's awesome. Oh, yeah. Going, what, whether it's a big one in the dark or uh, you know, sixty pounder fly line during the day, it was it was awesome. That's so cool. Awesome. Go. Well, go get them tomorrow night. And uh, thanks for the check. Appreciate that very much. And uh, talk. Always. Talk to you next weekend, for sure, with another good report. I want to remind you this portion of the show, hey, if you like fishing for tuna like Mike and like Mike and Mike are doing, hey, you got to be using those gamakatsu hooks because if not, you're missing bites. The Nautilus Circle hook comes in sizes as small as a number four and all the way up to a 6.0, and when big fish are biting, that Nautilus HD is tough enough but not oversized to get you the bites. Both come with ringed or non-ringed. You can see your local dealer or check gamakatsu.com. Yeah, and uh, uh, interesting text here from Art and Donna. They uh-huh. say hello, Valerie uh-huh. and Rob, and this is Art's. They're coming. Can't wait to see you in July. They're, this is Art's 16th year and Donna's 11th year. Wow. You have, you Ambassadors. Have a, you have a lot of people that come back year after year after year, right? Yeah, these are must, very special. Must be Everyone's reason. special. But, uh, must be a reason, though. Well, it's location, location, yeah. location. Yeah. <laughs> it. yeah. And a lot of love. We put a yeah, lot of love awesome. into yes. everything we yes, do. Yes, you do. Um, we, sh- we should add, uh, we should announce our dates for 2025 Let's Talk Hookup Trip. Yes. Yeah, so okay. go for it. Are you ready? Cause, and let me explain why. Our trips our trips fill up very, very quickly. Yes. Uh, first of all, we have Harold Davis, the Pied Piper, <laughs> yes. uh, going. And then we have Corey Sandin, who's a number Pied Piper number two. And so people want to go fishing with us, right? Yes. And they want to go fishing with Rob and see Valerie, for sure. So, yes. um, what are we, so you're booking now for 2025. And, we are booking. Yeah. Okay, so to back up for a second. Two things. We have some dates available this year, and we're going to do a special Let's Talk Hookup rate, but you have to say, we listen to you on Let's Talk Hookup to get okay. that. So you, but, but you'll give them a special rate, a special yes, deal for, for the, the remaining spots in 2024, yes. not necessarily the Let's Talk Hookup trip, but other dates, right. like you were talking about, some singles, could, uh, openings for yeah, singles, some, some great openings and... in June, which is like prime time. Yep. You heard uh, Rob talking about the salmon run possibilities in yeah. June. Oh my gosh, that sounds incredible. I know. And the bottom fish, untouched. 
right, yeah. Rob? Yeah, all season long. We're all winter long, right? Nobody gets yeah. out there because, I mean, weather is really, really... Yeah, lots of no, no pressure during the winter. All of a sudden, they see a jig in their face. Oh, I'm eating yeah. that. <laughs> oh, <laughs> they right. see anything down there. I'm yeah, going to yes. catch one on a banana this year. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. I like it. There you go. <laughs> so, uh, so here's our dates for 2025 for fishing with Corey. Corey's going to be, his group is going to be July 29 to August 3. And P and Harold's date is going to be the same date, August 3 through 7. 3 through 7. This year. Okay. So, Great. And it's, so book now. Book now and you'll get your Let's Talk Cook Up group rate plus you can pay for it in four installments. Four installments. Oh, yeah. that's okay. cool. So depart, yeah. Nice. So, and, uh, Are the rates in 2025 the same as 24? Oh, you haven't determined that? I haven't determined that. You haven't determined that. Yeah, because with okay, fuel prices fuel. and everything. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. fuel's the X factor, exactly. right? Well, and Chef John just said our food went up about yeah, 12%. Yeah, went, what? yeah. Surprise, yeah. surprise. Anybody? It's going to be very close. It's, okay. It would be very close. Yeah, you're always very good about that. And yeah. and the airline, too, messes with you. Yeah. So every 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 factor, a factors, has, to be, every no factor has to weigh in. Well, let's jump into the phones. You got it. How about this time we talked to Gus? Gus has called us from Burbank uh, this okay. morning. Hey, Gus, welcome to Let's Talk Hook Up. Yo, Ricky. Yo, Pete. Yo, Valerie. Hi. Hey, I. I, <laughs> I just wanted to say, um, I do one trip a year now, and there's no question, there's no debate about where I want to go, and it's always Queen Charlotte Safari. Uh, I can't, I cannot express. I don't have the time or the words. The beauty of that place, it just reminds me of what's important, you know? Mm-hmm. Getting out there in, in, in the, in natural surroundings, no politics, no following the newspaper every day. No TV. It's just... Uh, <laughs> we have one, but... Yeah. Right. Nobody watches oh, it because you don't I don't miss to. the TV yeah. at all. <laughs> no. <laughs> Yeah, but, and there's and, so and I, I might add, if those tell, of you that do like to be connected, there's cell service, and there's also have internet. Wi-Fi. You have Wi-Fi at the at the at the at, yes. the, at yes. there. But uh, we got upgraded on our Wi-Fi. Oh my, yeah, yes. fast. But you have to make the choice. Yeah, you have to. Yeah, but the good news is too that once you get on the boat with Rob, and once you go through the Narrows, no you, cell. You're done yeah, for you're the fishing. day. You're done. For, you're just fishing. You can focus on fishing. Yes. Yeah, and then on your way home, then you can go catch up. <laughs> yeah. yeah, but. That's exactly you right. know I gotta say um, we're so connected these days mm-hmm. and to be able to be away even on the long Absolutely. range boats everybody has, has Starlink and everything now when I was in Indonesia we had nothing for seven days and it was wonderful yeah. it, was. it was really great I mean you get all, so addicted to it but then mm-hmm. when it's gone it's like oh well yeah it'll be there when I get back yep. so that's the same thing when you're going fishing Queen Charlotte safaris it's yes. like yeah. It'll be there when you get back to the yes. lodge. Yeah, yes. for sure. Well, Gus, can't wait to see you. See you in August, Gus. So does, does that mean that that it's a yes for 2025 with Pete? I just put you oh, on the spot. Oh, of course. <laughs> <laughs> I don't. I don't think you needed to worry about that uh, one. Yeah. <laughs> so you're coming in 2024 as well as 2025. Yes. Well, yeah. Put me yeah. down. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks a lot for the call, Gus. Gus. Look forward Thank to seeing you. Thank you. Big well. hugs, Gus. Uh, I had a great text. It says, uh, good morning, Pete, Rick, and Valerie. What a great show. My question for Valerie is, do you guys have black cod available uh, at Queen Charlotte Safaris? One of my favorite uh, fish to target when fishing deep waters up north, and I wasn't sure if that species existed in your water or was able to target. That's from Dan and Escondido. Oh, it- Rob? It is. It, they are there. There's they definitely are. black cod there. Um, it's uh, something that you're fishing super deep for, right? So it's another thing I was going to uh, be bringing up to Valerie right soon here is uh, I think we need to start to target them. It's uh, something that the fish are absolutely delicious. Mm, so it's, uh, yeah, I think we're going to have to, like, crack open that little uh, kitty account and grab a few electric bills. and uh, He's killing me there. every day. Yeah. He's like, oh, we need and, this. My, oh, we need that. Yeah, my tackle, my tackle bill is getting a little high, but uh, that's all right. We'll, and they're, uh, yeah, they're fun to go. target. Yeah, they are. Yeah, but delicious to yeah, eat. They're, yeah, they're okay to oh. target, but, yeah. boy, they're really They're a lot of work. <laughs> they're, I should say they're, they're, they're really they are, they sure they're are good fun on when the you get them up to the surface, right? Exactly. Yeah. 600 plus feet, that's a real job. 
Yeah. 600, that's shallow. That's a minute. Yeah, yeah, I was going to say 600, no problem. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's an easy one. <laughs> yeah, okay, that's so awesome it's a possibility Rob. for yeah. a future. How cool. Yeah. Is kind of going, yeah, maybe. I have one here it's, uh, from Sammy in Irvine. Good morning. Do you have fish processing service on site that prepares your catch for shipping? What are the weight limits and catch? And Rick, it was good to see you at the PCS show. Uh, we've discussed that a little bit, but, you know, fish is important for people to take home. So your fish processor is not... At physically at Queen Our Charlotte Lodge. Safari, it's, it's, but it's about 150 yards away. Yeah, and it's a certified plant, so they get inspected. So it's not it's not a it's not a what do I say? It's not a whole bunch of yeah yeah. It's it's a That's true perfect. plant. It's yeah, a true totally. fish yeah, plant. What they That's do. what they do. They're professionals. And they uh, you have the fish care your fish are on ice and then from, from the boat it goes into the plant and then they cut in the evening so it's fresh and uh, fill it out, bone out, um, and then uh, vacuum pack flash frozen like I said before, and it's all species identified and they're heavy plastic bags and then of course being flash frozen, stays in the freezer, and then we go freezer to the airport on your farewell day. So. And I might add that the boxes that you purchased, I, I, first time I went up there, I went, Valerie, why do you spend so much money on these boxes? Well, I found out why, because it's they're exceptional. They're styrofoam crates inside another box. Wow. Yeah. And your catch is like you get solid. Home, rock it's hard. solid. Yeah, and they'll yeah. fill it up to 50 pounds, and it meets all airline, the box size meets all, yeah. all airline regulations yeah. as far yeah. as sizes and nice. dimensions. Yeah. And, you know, you're, we, we put our stickers on them. You put your name and phone number oh, yeah. on them, and we do. We have a whole process at the airport to make sure everything's done properly. And, and Rob, how do you take care of the fish on the boat? Uh, so right away, fish are bled, and then we put them on ice in our nice big boxes till uh, we get to the lock. And make sure they're nice and cool all the way through. Yeah. yeah, so that's that's key too because so you guys have have these great ice totes that you have on the boat, and so that fish goes right on ice, bled, and then right on ice, and then goes yeah. to the processor. On uh, the bleeding, the bleeding is a major for uh, especially lingcod. Like back in the day, we never used to do that, and uh, once you tell the difference, it's really hard to actually tell the difference between a bled lingcod and halibut once you actually get them home and take them home. Because the, like, I mean, so the white. flavor is obviously different. The meat's different, but the whiteness of the fish yeah, is uh, incredible. Yeah. Yeah. Pretty pretty cool stuff. All right. Wait. Well, another great text coming through. Good morning, guys. This really sounds like a bucket list trip. Uh, my question for Valerie and for Rob, what do you guys feel is the best time of year for a mix of kings, lings, and other rockfish? I also love the fact that I could take my wife. This sounds like a great adventure. That's all from Jeff in Huntington Beach. Thank you, yeah, Jeff you're, you're- Huntington Beach. Go ahead, Rob. Your best, your best shot's going to be for if you want the best ground fishing. It's obviously in June, um, but all season long. Like we're, mm-hmm. it's, it's, it's not like other places. We're seeing different salmon runs all season. The coho start to show up right from the beginning when we're there, but they're more prolific. The coho, the silver, more prolific. Uh, say mid June onward. Um, but Chinook is there full time. You know, pinks are there almost the whole time. Uh, all the salmon are there, and then all the rockfish are always there. So mm-hmm. all the rockfish are And that's just, the unique thing there. about where you are is the sh- did you hear the, it? Chinook the Chinooks run. are always there. Chinook kings that's always not there. Yeah. always the case, right? Yeah, exactly. It's a uh, it's a full season of different runs, different waves. Uh, you never know. Like uh, the Wanak River fish are usually there in June. That's when we see these odd 60, 70 pounders that get caught. You know, it's very rare, but you know your chance of getting a trophy fish in June is just as good as it is getting a trophy fish in July and August. Wow, that's, that's pretty awesome. cool stuff. Hey, when we come back, we got a lot more Let's Talk Cookup. We're going to, including finding out who's going fishing on an overnight open party trip at a fisherman's landing. More Let's Talk Cookup when we return on the Mightier 1090 ESPN Radio and that Let's Talk Cookup app. The name that stands out among anglers is Fisherman's Landing, your top choice in local and long-range fishing. Hi, this is Doug Kern. Our hardworking crew will make sure your fishing experience is one to remember. We offer the finest open party trips from one to three days, the best charter boats available, and of course, our world-renowned long-range fleet is second to none. Fisherman's Landing is a full-service operation offering great half-day trips on the Dolphin and full-day open party trips on the spacious and comfortable Liberty. Since we introduced the full-day trips at Fisherman's 
Dutchman's Landing, the 85-foot Liberty has become a favorite among full-day operations with bunks for your comfort, huge bait capacity, and RSW fish holds to keep your catch fresh. Plus, Liberty has a big modern galley and two interior heads with showers. All our open party trips from half-day, full, or one- to three-day trips can easily be booked online at Fisherman'sLanding.com or give us a call at 619-221-8500. I'll see you at Fisherman's Landing in San Diego. There are moments that change our perception of what is and is impossible. Cosmic shifts where the stars align with the earth to alter how we see the world. The release of King Tide is one of those moments. This is the crowning achievement of Costa's 40-year legacy on the water. The culmination of every innovation and lessons learned up until this point. Wins and losses and highs and lows have brought us here to stand witness to a legacy brought to life. To achieve the ultimate potential on the water. Costa King Tide. Rule the water. In San Diego, the future belongs to everyone. So Ford engineered the truck of the future for everyone. The Ford F-150, available with a pro-power onboard generator. What a great addition for anglers. There's also a variety of cab configurations for whatever you need to haul. The truck of the future isn't created for just a few. It's created for us who love the ocean and the outdoor life. Ford F-150, test drive one at your local San Diego County Ford dealer today. They'll be glad to hook you up. Hey anglers, AFCO Pro Captain Ben Florentino of Coastal Charters here. As a full-time guide, I'm on the water all year long. It's my livelihood. Having the right clothing is of the utmost importance to staying warm, dry, cool, and comfortable to endure whatever the Pacific wants to throw at me. Thankfully, I'm equipped with AFCO clothing to keep me dialed season after season. Do yourself a favor and check out AFCO's award-winning gear at a dealer near you or learn more at AFCO.com. Welcome back to Let's Talk Hookup. Okay, it's time to find out the big winner. Valerie's going to do us the honors and flip the prize coin. We're going to find out if we have a caller or texter winning. Today we have a texter. Congratulations, Rory in Lakeside. You've got yourself an open party trip at a fisherman's landing. You're picking the boat. You're going fishing. There you go. Congratulations. Rob. So fantastic yeah. having you on. Thanks for hanging in on the phone for two hours. I know uh, we're very excited to come up there with our two groups in August. And uh, the, the, a lot of our listeners go to Queen Charlotte and love fishing with Rob. All right, guys. Well, it'll be fun to see you. And uh, I can't wait to get the season started myself. So tight lines and uh, be safe out there. And uh, we'll see you guys in uh, August, I guess, July, August. Yeah, August. Nice. August, yeah. And, August 3rd. And, and keep twisting their arm up there in Canada about those uh, yellow eye, for sure. Oh, believe me, man. I love that fish. It's yeah. so, <laughs> That's so it's been good. so many years since I've had a good taste of that stuff. I want some fish and chip yellow eye. Yeah, yeah no for sure. And, Valerie, if somebody wants to come up, either this year there's still a scattered few spots available for singles as well as uh, two people or, or groups, uh, or 2025, it's way not too early to book for 2025. We're booking both. Yeah, so yes, both. How, how do we get a hold of you? Uh, you can go right, you can go to the website website uh, qcsafaris.com and there's a there's a contact us and just fill that out make sure to put let's talk hookup on there so i know yep and and, or, and and you get a special rate and you get a special rate yeah. and then also uh if you do the toll-free number i have that ringing to my cell phone i'm going to be in the hotel room working all day today <laughs> oh, and one eight seven seven eight one five two eight nine two. thank you so much for having us yeah so when you job. call you talk to valerie that's yes. the cool thing. this is the hardest hardest working person i know that's yeah. for sure so uh thank you valerie and happy st patty's day yeah. Yeah. happy st patty day to everybody and uh thanks to jp thank you rob i appreciate what you do and a thanks to adam for all he does on the let's talk hookup app and of course thank you out there for all your support all your great texts and calls and just listening and being a part of let's talk hookup today we humbly and very much appreciate what you do for us and thank you for uh being here next week we're gonna have a couple great shows captain maddie barlow from the limitless all right out of dana landing in mission bay will be here on saturday and then next sunday captains frank lopresti and jonathan from the royal Pol- Polaris will be here next Sunday. Going to be a great couple of shows. Thanks again for listening. We'll see you next week right back here on the Mightier 1090 ESPN Radio and the Let's Talk Hookup app.